a line, let's stay in the shade. Yeah. Okay? Okay. However, when we start our protest and form our line, I'm going to want the line to start there. You give yourself a couple, you know, more than a couple of feet. We want this to look long, right? Okay. We'll be passing out cards and pens for notes to Corey. If you have brought a letter, that's cool. Wonderful. Just hand it in. One of us will be at the door. When you turn your card in, right, keep going around the building. Go back to this alley between the parking structure and this building, and then rally up back in here. We're shady. Okay, so we're not going to try to give you sunstroke today. But when we start, I want the line... And I'll be leaving a message soon because I'm curious why he hasn't bothered to come out to talk to us. It's just now getting to his voicemail. It's ringing, it's putting on his. Hello, thank you for calling the office of Corey Gardner. I'd love to hear from you, which is, of course, is not true. I've read some of Hi, Senator Gardner. This is Laura Schneider. Um, I'm not a paid out of stater, as you like to claim. Uh, it's zip code 8005. Um, I'm standing outside your office, your Denver office, and I'm curious to know why you and nobody from your office is interested in hearing from us. I've called and left many messages with your office. You never seemed interested in hearing uh, what we have to say. Um, last time I checked, every single one of us has a mother, a daughter, or a sister who would be adversely affected by the Trump Care plan, and I'd like to know what your position on this is. I'd also like to know when you are going to hold that uh, long promised town hall. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Yeah, look at the camera. Look at the camera, okay. Hi there, uh, my name's Chris. I'm here to uh, ask Senator Gardner to support health care instead of supporting his donors that want to get rid of health care. Um, the Colorado Medicaid has uh, saved me quite recently, actually. A recent trip to the uh, emergency room would have cost me, what, $10,000? But because I thankfully have Medicaid, uh, I, I was lucky and it covers that. But let's say my girlfriend doesn't have it because she makes just slightly too much money to qualify for Medicaid, but she can't afford health care. It's totally ridiculous. So if the same thing would have happened to her, we'd be out five figures right now. So uh, I'm here just to let my voice be heard and say, we all need health care. So there you go. Thanks, Senator Gardner. We appreciate your support for our universal health care. <laughs> I'm very concerned about Senator Gardner in as much as that he does not um, represent the people of Colorado. He does not represent the citizens of the United States. I'm very much interested in how the Congression, uh, the Congress takes care of the Russian problem. I think that far outweighs Watergate, and it's time they get to the bottom of that. Thank you. Go for it. I am um, a 70 year old woman who has been lucky enough to have Medicare and I would like to see everybody in this country be on Medicare, a Medicare for all program. Right now there is a bill in, this, in the house called HR 676 which is Medicare for all and Bernie Sanders in the next week or two in the Senate will also be presenting a bill for HR 676, uh, similar to HR 676 which is in the house. So it's Medicare for all, and I don't want any any party to take away my health care, my rights as, as an American citizen to have free speech, and I don't like the budget that's happening right now where it's going to cut a lot of people off of a lot of services. So I am asking Cory Gardner to co-sponsor, actually, Bernie Sanders' bill in the Senate uh, on health care for all, Medicare for all, and I've even called him and left that message when I spoke to him uh, 
somebody at his office. So I'm really hoping that we can get health care for everybody in this country. The United States actually is ranked 35th of all industrial countries for health care. We have the highest rate of women who are who are giving birth. We have the hardest rate of death and the highest rate of death for infant mortality than any industrial country in the world. So we need to join all the industrial countries of the world and have a, a health care that includes everybody. And uh, hi, uh, my name is Carl Che. I'm a resident of Denver for now 26 years. Uh, I have asthma, fairly severe. Uh, on the retail market, my inhalers and pills, various things, would cost about $1,200 a month. And that's what, how much I had to pay when UCD stopped cover, uh, insuring its student, offering health insurance to its students at all, at any price. So finally when I was able to, I got on uh, ACA, and now I'm paying about $50 a month for health insurance, and my drugs are about $150. And I can do that, that's sustainable. Um, anything that would make me, that would threaten that or take away that coverage would probably slowly kill me. It would be very, it would take uh, maybe a year, uh, but it would in involve more and more emergency room visits and it would cost, it would just waste a huge amount of money as well as, you know, me, if that makes any difference. So I am strongly in favor of strengthening the ACA and Obamacare to uh, lower costs for one thing, that's it, to, costs are too high, uh, and uh, make sure that coverage is universal or close to universal. Um, I think the way to do that is to reduce profits to insurance companies and healthcare providers. Nobody's talked about that, No, certainly no politician wants to even bring that up. What they want to do is reduce cost by screwing sick people. And the thing about that is that anybody can be sick, you or me, or Cory Gardner, or the president. And then all of a sudden they become a loser in this game they're setting up. That's not fair. I think that's not even American or civilized even. No other developed country allows that to happen. So uh, that's the wrong way to go. The way we should do it is cut profits for insurance companies and uh, health care providers. I'm on Medicare myself, but I am very concerned about my kids and their access to health care. And I just really would like Senator Gardner and all of Congress to know that we out here want Medicare for all. It can work and it's time to be brave and make it happen. Thank you. Well, give me one of these. Yeah. And 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 you and the and two of these. And you can do the band-aids. Okay. Oh, okay. You want me to do? Okay. Yeah, you do the. Okay. Are we ready? Yep. Okay, we're ready when you're ready. Tell us when to go. Oh. Hi, I'm Judy. I'm here with my friend Debbie, and we're going up to court. Cory Gardner's office to tell him what we think about the Health Care Act, the House passed, and the Senate is looking at. And we're going to visit with the staffers. We planned this, and we're bringing some gifts for the staffers. We have a little bit of candy, M&M's here, who have True Calm to help them out in their state of mind. And we also have some candy bars, which we have bandaged up, because you know sugar is bad. And we need to get that message out to make sure everybody stays healthy. And Debbie... And we've also got some band-aids. And what Judy uh, didn't get into with the uh, True Calm is we've also got a couple of little medical devices embedded in with the M&Ms to remind them that they need to take care of people 
and really vote on a great health care bill that will help people, not just the administration. And if you look on the Facebook page later, we're hoping to post this video and we're going to do one after the event so you can see what we got out of doing it. Okay. Talk about um, where Senator Gardner made your <laughs> views on health care. Well, I'm here outside of Senator Gardner's office and I'm wondering when he's going to see us for an in-person town hall. And I also uh, am very concerned about uh, the AHCA. I believe that it's a tax cut for the wealthy and I'm very concerned about it leaving the Medicaid expansion in Colorado uh, in a place where people who need health care won't be able to afford it and I as a taxpayer will pay for their emergency room health care in higher insurance premiums and in higher health care costs. Senator Garden, Gardner, please hear us. My name is Mike. Uh, three years ago, I almost died from a traumatic brain injury. Uh, if it weren't for the ACA, Obamacare, I'd probably be dead. Two years ago, I went in for back surgery. I had debilitating lower back pain that was paid for by Medicaid. I'm now pain free. Um, Health care is a major issue for me, and I'm here because I want Gardner, Senator Gardner, to understand that health care is a right for everyone. And we need him to vote no on the AHCA. Thank you. Yeah, done that a long time ago. I never understood. I never understood. Uh, the ones at CU should be a senior, and then. Sadly, it sounds like a lot of the vote. Oh, I didn't know. person who's going to collect it and then you're going to keep going Okay, tell me when. Hey, Rick. When? Hi, I'm Julia Brister from Denver, Colorado. Senator Gardner, I hope you stand by your promises to refuse to support any legislation that does not or that leads to cuts in Medicaid. Let me just tell you about some of my concerns. Without prenatal care for women, without Quality after birth care for children, especially those who are disadvantaged, there will be women and babies dying. Consider a baby who's born with a congenital heart defect and the mother has no access to Medicaid or because it's a pre-existing condition, she can't afford to insure her child. That child is likely to die. Did you know that more women in the U.S. die 
during childbirth than any other developed country in the world. That is such a shame for America. I hope that you will stand by your promises and that you will come to realize that your constituents all need and deserve health care that really works. Thank you.